uh, hi everyone and welcome back so in this video we are going to scrap this particular website so it has a lot of data with it so like a lot of books right we can actually get the the books information like we go to this link the book name product name product description and all these things so it's books to scrap.com so we only change the url and we are going to use this wait for selector what it does is you can inspect you can wait until you receive this particular class on the page and then you get the whole page content and then you can actually call one method await extract data and you pass this content to this right now here we can do uh, cheer io stuff where you can actually load this whole html and extract it so this is what we are going to do let's see this code so what we are doing here is here we are loading the html whatever we got so this is content is html and we are doing cheer io dot load we got everything in this dollar symbol okay here now you can inspect so what we are looking for so, so let's go to this website and how we can get this list so this list is inside this tag so we need to find the okay this is article tag inside that we have a product code i think this is common and we can use it for all these products to inspect or there are 20 products so we can use product code and inside this so we'll just ins we'll just look for product code that will give us an array of items and inside that we will go to anchor tag and href attribute right so here we are looking for this product code class and it is going to give us a multiple elements right row element so for every element now we are going to do a find uh, there should be a method dot find here we are trying to find anchor element okay inside this inside the product code this should be anchor element and there is no multiple anchor element so we can actually inspect it and we just need to get the href tag right so first i will just try to play around with this console.log you can also debug this and see what is happening extract data this is async await i'm loading html here i'm just trying to get the element if i'm getting this scrap data we are calling and this we are running in the headless true so we opening the browser okay we got something so these are actually nodes uh, different nodes we have received and uh, let's give a try so we can also look at the attribute we can also look at the documentation of chirayu so this is where we are getting each and every node okay we can do node dot find node dot eat attribute should be there and we are looking for href attribute there try to run this and see if we are able to get the links otherwise we have to find another way okay we got the links so we are lucky so what we can do is we can actually create a links array once we receive all these links we can actually iterate all these links and we can go to those particular pages so here let's say const links and then we can just run a for of loop and for each and every link link we can again await page dot go to so there is a base url we have base url is this and we are getting some another url which we just uh, scrapped which is k or you can say link okay now again we now we move to this particular page we get the content from this page and again we can call another method here we can call it as a page content 
and we can uh, write another method extract page data right and we can call this await extract page data and we can pass page content here so this code we can write by inspecting the page what page what content we are looking for and we can have uh, some global object where you are going to store all the books this is an empty array and from each iteration you will actually getting the book object book payload and you will just push that into this book start push book payload and finally you will just do a console.log or you will write it for now we will just do console.log to see what we are getting okay the rest we will try to complete this in the next video uh, thanks everyone